as I was saying before, you know, I realized I was muted. We're in Limgrave. It's still in Limgrave. We're probably going to be in Limgrave for a while, because... There's uh, still a lot here, and we deal, like, no damage to anything. I think bosses on horse are, like, one of the most frustrating things you can fight with a bow. Because they move so quickly. Also, I looked it up yesterday, and the, the Radagon and Elden Beast kill was 28 minutes long. Very long fight. Ooh, headshot. It's already gonna take me long enough to kill you. Please don't put your shield up. Like, these are the easiest bosses we're going to do, and they're already taking, like, three minutes. The bosses in the mountaintops are going to be, like, ten minutes each. That's why I think this run's going to be so insanely long. Like, it doesn't matter. I could, like, literally play perfectly, and it would still take a long time. Backstep shots are a thing. Unless I'm crazy. I feel like I'm shooting faster after a backstep. Right, we should probably uh, grab this. So we can get arrows from Kale. Don't need them now because I think we have plenty, but. Oh, actually, we really don't. Purveyor of fine goods. Boom. Goodbye. Torrent? Torrent? Hello? I still haven't seen Melanie yet. I bet we will at Stormhill Shack, though. I imagine this boss is going to take longer than normal to kill. This is one of those ones they do in, like, three shots normally. But if the cemetery shade took a while, I mean, everything is going to take a while in this run. Oof. The, uh, the duo beastman fight is going to be brutal. 
probably. I am the Crucible Knight, too. It's going to be rough. Oof. A lot of just really, really painful fights. Yeah, this will definitely be one of the slower runs. I don't know if it'll be great bow slow, but I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. I think it really depends on how far we get today. Either way, I mean, you're looking at another half-hour fight in, uh, Radagon and Melania. Not Melania. Well, maybe Melania, but Radagon and Elden Beast, I mean. Melania probably will take a while. Like, all the late-game bosses are really going to take a while. Anything with, like, a good amount of health, but mainly Radagon and Elder Beast because of how tanky they are. Actually, you know, it'll probably be faster in New Game Plus because I'm going to get Cold Bone Arrows and that'll make Radagon faster. Elden Beast will be the same, though. No making that faster. At least not much faster. Did I not rest? Oh, it's probably fine. Perfect attack, too. You can't hit me. Mimic tier fight. Oh no, oh, I forgot about that too. Can't be as bad as the Great Bow one though. You know what kind of sucks though about the Mimic tier? Like, you can't make them fat roll. No matter what you do, they're in light roll. Or at least mid roll. Like, you can put on the heaviest armor just to give them the heaviest armor, and they're still going to light roll. Doesn't matter. Alright. Or oh, Crucible Knights. I was going to say Storm King for some reason, because it's a Storm Hill Ember Jail. All right, well, let's see how this goes.
I just have to bait that attack. I think that's what I did in the Great Bow Run. Just bait the stab. And then do a jump attack. 104 damage. Yikes. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be a lot harder to hit this thing and actually do damage to it. I don't think you can hit him in the air. I have not seen one tail attack yet. I also haven't really been close enough for it to do one, so. Hey, Moose Trash. Oh, yeah, man. Still doing that. This is basically like the pincushion run. There's a tail attack. But yeah, this run's gonna take a while. Definitely gonna be slower than like the majority of the runs I've done recent recently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he gets iframes in the air like that, so I can't hit him. It'd be actually kind of sick too, but... Like, as soon as he flies up, he gets iframes. I'm not mistaken. Five damage! I'm gonna use the buffer right card? Yep. That's the plan. It shouldn't be as well. No, it's probably going to be bad, but I'll have bleed arrows, which I don't have yet. So I haven't made any since I got to NG plus. But yeah, right card's going to take a while. Hopefully with bleed, it'll be a little better, but we'll see. Right card's not for a ways off. I usually do him like near the end of the run. Because Rykard is always bad when you don't use the Serpent Hunter. At least, not not always bad, but always, like, tedious. So I always like to do it when I'm as uh, high a level as possible. Although I don't like doing it at the very end. It, it's like, you know, it's within the last ten bosses. Any resistances to poison? I don't believe so. I think the only thing he's really resistant to is fire. And I've done, I've done kills with fire, and it's not fun. The main thing I get concerned with on a run like this is just, like, I'm not used to fighting Reichard from range. Usually when I'm fighting Reichard with a melee weapon, I'm right up in his face, and I know the moveset, but every now and then I gotta do a ranged kill. And I always forget his whole moveset. There we go. Here's Melina. 
was actually perfect too. She made it night, and I needed it to be night. Oh yeah, I forgot to check to see if Ronnie was uh, if she spawned before Melanie did. Nope, no interest. See ya. This is such a weird uh, way to summon this boss. It's cool when you see it, like, just, you know, on a first playthrough or whatever, right? But you'll never know how you did it. Uh, what? What are you doing? Apparently he doesn't like fire? I don't know. He just took the lamp out. For no reason. Oops. Maybe a different attack? No? I hate fighting him far away, honestly. Oops. Did my lock on just... Just stopped randomly. Upload schedule for the VOD channel, uh, every, starting at 11, it's every three hours, three videos a day. Unless I do, like, a random other game and, which is rare, but then it'd be, uh, four videos every three hours. What am I looking for? Holy arrows. Ow. Dude, what? I didn't even do anything to you. Why are you attacking me? edge this boss is so much worse at range because you have to lock on i mean I, I guess you don't have to lock on but i just hate finding these things when you're locked on
Because they're so wild. Especially if you're in their face. You okay, but thanks for the gifted sub, yeah? Appreciate it, dude. And I promise one day I will have an alert. <laughs> he says after not making one for... I don't know how long it's been now. A year, pretty much, since I started streaming again. Alright, so where are we going? Death Touch Catacombs. Yeah, I, I never even lock on to Medeer because of that reason. Very rarely. I guess, like, as you're attacking, just to make it easy for an attack to land, maybe, but, like, usually I'll just unlock immediately. It, it's just, it's hard with, like, fast-moving bosses that you have to stick close to sometimes. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to 50... And I probably will just pump decks up. Of course, I'm, unless I'm using like magic or, uh, you know, a bow or something, then I'll just always lock on. But you know, at that point too, you're also not really. Probably not near the boss. It took me a while to realize that this boss wasn't even, like, full health when you fight it. Oh, right, input beating. Fun. Yo, lock on. Because of the pillar, really? This works, I guess. I think this assassin, compared to the other ones, is just, like, way more passive, normally. Then I finally hit it, I... <sighs> Infinite stamina.
What a fight. We gotta fight like five more of those things. Four more? I don't know. And they're all gonna have way more health. Maybe that one was missing, what, like a third of its health? So yeah. Something to look forward to. That's what I think about on all these bosses, because most of them we're going to be fighting again, and they're going to be tankier. My damage is not getting better. I wonder what the limits of this Spirit Spring are. I always wonder that. Because, you know, there's always an area around them that, you know, like, you'll live through if you jump down there or whatever, but... I don't know what that limit is. Well, the Guardian Golem's gonna be rough, too. Because normally, you just, like, stagger him, break his posture, and then uh, do a repost and do, like, half its health. But I don't think I... Well, I can't do a repost, obviously, but I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to break his posture. Not that that matters. Because the whole, the whole reason is, again, the repost. That's where most of the damage in this fight always comes from. Please, thank you. We should probably get bleed arrows too pretty soon, especially going to Kaelid. Just trying to think when uh, to do that. I guess I could do it after the Tibia Mariner. Let's run down to Fort Height. Oh, that's pretty rough. Maybe the legs take more damage. I think they actually do. jump but really it feels like the exact type of attack you should be able to jump nope can't jump it I was just testing again definitely cannot jump it oh can I hit this does nothing. I do this. Oh, no, oh, I missed. Didn't even get a chance to hit it. going now. I heard Cave Limgrave Tunnels, okay. Yeah, I, I probably should just get Bleed Arrows after. Maybe... I don't know. There's like no... Maybe I'll just go now.
Never heard of the Blue Dancer charm? Yeah, it's basically a uh, Flynn's ring. It would actually be good for this run if I wasn't using the shield. I don't really need to use the shield, it's just, uh... I mean, I probably will in the late game. It's kind of nice to have. You know what, I might as well, uh... The thing is, I don't know what to take off. Probably this. I remember that. Let me see, hang on. I want to see how much damage actually increases this buy. So we're 313. It's not even that much. It's something, I guess. Beast bones. I didn't see how many I had. Blood rose. Two blood rose. Sick. Wonder if you use like a. Silver Pickled Bowel Foot, if you can pick up two more often. Don't know if it works like that. Is there one over here? Yeah. Alright, that's good for a bit. We'll be back here a lot, though. All right, we'll go do Limgrave Tunnels, and we'll do a Gil. And we'll head to Caleb. Daggers could be OP if correctly used the Blue Dancer Charm. Um, probably. I mean, there's some pretty good daggers. Like, the Reduvia is pretty good. But honestly, like, anything can be OP in this game. If you... If you do, like, the right setup. What else we got? Firebone, Rotbone. Don't mind if I do. Need to make sure I don't accidentally make bolts again. I'm probably not going to use the Rotbone until... Super late game. Probably, like, Reichard, I think I'll probably try and rot. Radagon, I definitely want to try and rot. I don't really know who else. Maybe Moog. The thing is, the rot arrows are going to be limited. Well, you know, unless we have to farm Aeonian butterflies anyway. Which I'd like to not do, but... That could be something I do off-stream, too. Depending on when we get to the Lake of Rot, which... Might not even be today, honestly. Regular arrows here. I'll keep the bleed for a gill, I think. You guys go for big bonky weapons. Never experimented with any daggers. Daggers in this game, I think they're f they made them better, but a lot of the time they're hard to hit with. Because some bosses just have weird hitboxes. Like, Malakath is a good example. He's super hunched over, so if you're in his face, it's kind of hard to hit him unless you're behind him. 
Redon is another one that was kind of tough. They're very fast though, especially if you power stance them. Which I would recommend. It's kind of what I love about these runs, you just use so many different types of weapons. You know, you get the big weapons, you get the smaller weapons, smaller, faster, you get bows, you get magic. Huge AoE. That's 49 arrows for a living grave boss. So the next run, it was a requested run. That's something I also do that I don't think, I don't know how well it gets translated to YouTube, but I do take requests for channel points. So the next run we do is going to be the Stone Great Axe in Dark Souls 1, and I was looking at it yesterday. Apparently it's the it's the axe that comes from the, the DLC Guardians, which I didn't know. And I got to farm it, so that's one where we're going to stop it like halfway through, and I'm going to farm it off stream. And once I get it, I'll resume it again. So if we start that on like Tuesday or something, I'll probably end up doing starting a second run. And then come back to it on Thursday after I get it. Assuming I get it. Anyway. That's my rule with farming weapons. Some games the farms aren't like super bad. Sometimes they are, and I'd rather just not spend time farming if I can help it. I like how he's staggering from the arrow shots. It's kind of funny. Any bleed? We're burning through these bleed arrows. Limgrave is mostly done. There's like three bosses I've done, but we'll come back to them later. Now, go to Kaelid. Things are going to be a lot harder to kill here. And I'm going to have no barrage for this next fight, which kind of sucks. Dude. I hate these rats. Like... It's not even worth killing them. They have so much health. Please, just get me out of here. Dude, this is the stupidest thing ever. They should not be able to hit you. I can't move. I healed because I knew I was going to get hit. But they staggered me and cancelled my heal. Like, you can heal if you time the 
Well, pretty much as soon as you open the chest, you have to hit heal. And you can actually heal, uh, even though you can't move. Off of Torrent, please. I am mashing L3 right now. <laughs> oh my god, this game. It's driving me nuts right now. Like, they shouldn't be able to hit you here. This is so stupid. It's like when you when you get iframes when you take a teleporter, it should be like that. Just as soon as you like can't move, you should give me iframes. That's all I want. Oh well. At least we can do barrage now. I don't know if fire arrows are good against these guys. I'm gonna try them. Oh, the Nox Duo 2 is going to be input reading. That's not going to be fun. And we got a Death Raid Bird and a Knight's Cavalry coming up. Oof. Ugh. That's awful. It's not so bad. Like, once you start using Barrage, I guess. You just burn a lot of arrows. like the max stamina and it's still not enough. Yeah, Barrage might be better DPS, but, like, that's the, the, the one annoying thing is it just chews through your arrows. Which, I guess, isn't a big deal when you can buy, like, a million of them. Oh, wow, okay. I actually got a stagger. It's gonna be, like, less ideal, though, I think, with limited arrow types, like Rodbone arrows. Oh, I don't have the race, right? Because, like... I guess, it, you know, shooting them with Barrage is not necessarily maximizing your DPS. It's better for applying status effects for sure, though. But you lose, like, I don't know, some percentage of your damage, like 30% or something. Probably. With Barrage. Per arrow. So I guess it really depends on the fight. You know, if it's going to be a long fight... Is it better to not use Barrage? Who knows? Alright, I forgot about this too. 
forgive to determine if you have it seems no. torrent whereas i may there is but i can take gathering place very let my hand Yeah, I'm hoping we can get at least get to like underground today, because if so, maybe we can finish on Monday. We'll see. We got to do like all of Caleb, Limgrave and Liurnia first, though, and Altus pretty much. Let me see. Does she still sell beast bones? Because I gave her the bell bearing in new game. I don't know if I have to give her the one in NG plus or not. Oh, sick. I don't. Can't even offer it to her. Well, that's cool. Why these? How many of these do I have? Oh, I have a ton. Yeah, we're good on those for a while then. All right. Nope. Here. All right, Nox Duo. These guys are going to input read. Yo, oh my god, whatever. It's probably not the fastest way up. I actually have no clue, like, what the fastest way up would be. Might as well get this. I feel like I'm definitely going to want all the golden seeds this run. All the sacred tears. I don't know that I picked any up in the Weeping Peninsula, though. I mean, I only need three more, so it's not that big of a deal. Do you kill the merchants on site? You actually don't need to kill them. You just have to, like, rest a bunch of times and make sure it's nighttime and talk to them. That's also important. Killing them, I guess, would work, too. But no, I just normally rest at night. God, I love input reading. These are such cool weapons. It's a shame that they're not remotely the same when you use them. Like, I can't, I, you can't turn this weapon into, I guess these are shields? Or fists? I don't really know. That's probably the closest thing to a Bloodborne trick weapon in this game, honestly. that marker it's gonna bug me someone told you had to kill the merchants oh no you, not at all man it depends on the merchant and it's not even every merchant there's like four merchants and two of them are like just regular npcs one is the turtle pulp and the other one is uh bernal and limgrave yeah someone lied to you Give me one bleed. Yeah, there's uh, just two regular merchants. The one in the Dragon Barrow, and then the one... Oh, I think I've them already. 
guess they don't like Frenzied Flame. Yeah, probably. If all you have to do is talk to them once, and then rest. Make it night, and you probably you might need to rest again. Just rest, keep resting until the Bellberry Hunter, or really until the Merchant's gone. Just gonna kill these guys, get them out of here. Tanking. Took like eight extra arrows to kill that dude. Oops. Dude, can I just, like, heal in peace, please? He really loves this attack. Almost as much as I'd love Barrage. Okay, ma'am, seriously, stop. Get him. One more bleed, please, come on. Three, two, one. Damn it. Alright, whatever. Okay, please, chill. God, this damage is so bad. Like, am I doing damage? 150. You'd left Frenzy Flames, so you're just sad now. Yeah, I guess uh, someone, is, someone is a hater of the Frenzy Flame. It sounds like it. Honestly, they probably just wanted you to kill the merchants. For killing merchants' sake. I think O'Neill has like an actual, like a decent amount of health. And the fact that I had no bleed arrows for like the last quarter of that fight did not help. You want to do a run where you kill every NPC? What'd they do to you? I don't think you can kill every one of them. Actually, I don't know, maybe you can. You can't kill the ones in the round table though. That, like, don't move, which is really just any, I think. Although she kind of just dies, so... I guess he can. Headshots.
I don't think you can kill Ronnie. I wonder if you can kill EJ. I've never tried. No, can't kill Hugh. It's just so, so annoying in this fight. No big AoE yet. I feel like he only does it if he's close to you. Oops. Rather, you're close to him. I don't know where the uh, edge of the map is. I gotta be aware of. Yeah, this attack, I think the best thing you can do is just to run at him. Am I safe under here, you think? Yeah, probably not, but I think get hit there. I was thinking maybe I was just safe under, like, that giant branch. Please stop. He doesn't have listed health, really. Wonder what happens if you attack him. Then. It's like you can kill Bly, but I don't know why you wouldn't be able to kill EG. Oh, my stamina ran out. That's the worst time for throwing. more. Why is the one who kills EG? I'm pretty sure it's just like a black knife. Probably not even just one, but like a group of black knife assassins. Because there's a bunch of dead ones around EG when you see him dead. I should get more bleed arrows for x -Ikes. Ugh. This, this Knight's Cavalry is tanky. This is like one of the least tanky ones we're going to fight. Yeah, the environmental storytelling, honestly, is like one of the biggest things in this game. You know, considering the how the story is told in the first place. You know, like nothing is really like direct. It's just, like through that and through item descriptions and whatnot. Where you kind of find everything. NPC dialogue that you're not guaranteed to hear. One forty eight. That missed. 116? Oh, I also don't have my buff. Mm-hmm, yeah. 
he can't he can't really control himself at the end i mean he he tries like he knows what he's doing is wrong he tries to fight it but he can't I'm pretty sure that did damage, but it gave me no damage number. Either that or I'm completely blind. I don't know how we got here, but I'll take it. Oh. Sit down, son. Sucks. I feel like without bleed is gonna be really terrible. Honestly, let me grab this grace. I could do poison. Not as good as bleed, but something. There's Cyrus. What? Gotcha. Yeah. I wonder how easy it is to poison this dragon. Probably easier if you actually hit it. That didn't work. I'm always curious to see, like, what attacks I can jump. Apparently not that one. Problem is I can't see what its feet are doing. Apparently it's flying without actually flying. We could probably do some horseback, honestly. Was he rotted? Or she? Okay. What about fire? Yeah, this is so awkward fighting this dragon locked on. I, I really don't like it. Man, poison is just not good. At least poison arrows, they don't seem to be doing much. I wonder if like the bow makes a difference here. Like, if I had a better bow, I wonder if the poison would be better, because this one is, I don't know, not super great. Done. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, 
I just hope I can poison it one more time. I'm running out of poison arrows though. Three, two, one, please. No. Bummer. Yeah, plus it is X I'll I'll get bleed arrows for. If I get bleed, I'll get frost. Uh okay, sure. Right now I'm just like stubborn and I don't feel like going to get more. But I'll probably get more after this. Why? I don't understand. What, do I have to go behind him there or something? I don't understand that attack. Because sometimes you'll be in, like, the, the rot cloud and you don't take any damage. And then sometimes, like that, you just die. I don't get it. Alright, we're gonna grab some materials now, I guess. 